Hey, yo, what is going on with it once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls, and of course, as always, the tacos and Nikki come is out there is the one, the only, of course, Mr. Nintendo Sony for 2011, aka Manny Wolverine, of course, you guys, us, us and shows, not shows, where's Shannon, follow me on Twitter, where's Raymond, like it shits. So today, I know this is about five days ago, but shout out to my boy, Stone Fox Media, aka Christopher Stone Fox Media, he talked about this before, this is how I found out about this two days ago, I know this is a five-day-old video, but been busy with work and doing a lot of errands and stuff and it's wednesday i normally don't do videos on a wednesday but it's probably not gonna be out till friday so keep in mind aware of that i already knew for a crap ton of a time this was happening maybe back in 2011 2012 when i first started this channel like a lot of like old school articles like kotaku magazine and polygon even ign sometimes GameSpot, not all the time as long as like a real place like the verge or freaking um gamer game informer those are real ass you know actual video gaming industry news articles Stuff like this, though, I already knew they were going to get bit in the ass eventually for this shit. I already knew it. And I already talked about this a little bit on my, <clears throat> a little bit like um, a couple days ago, if you guys saw it. It's probably going to be Friday or Saturday by the time that video goes up. But, oh man, this is pretty freaking sad. But it sucks out because the IGN like article writer or whatever, one of the guys are the script producers or the editorial people, like their publicists or any of that shit. They pretty much got fired at that point. I'd be surprised with any of that matter of fact that shit happened. So this is IGN Max Xbox for the Laws exclusives. I know I was going to scream my head off and do this super rant thing, but I'll probably do that in a chat and breeze video in the future. So I got about two other rants I want to do, but they're not really video game related. They're more like stuff, you know, about that whole Starbucks situation app a couple days ago. That'll probably be my Critical Guy Realization Man on my channel whenever I do my outdoor chat and breeze vlog. Not today, though. <laughs> and I'm kind of under the weather, so apologies on that. Anyways, without further ado, let's begin. Uh, links down below if you want to read this whole article yourself. I already read the first part of it on my last video. You guys could go check that out if you want to. Because, man, I'm not reading this whole thing article all over again. Because that's not freaking happening. I'm already, like, a little under weather. I think it's probably just allergies. I'm hoping to God it's just allergies. And shout out to Aeronaut. Aeronaut? Aeronaut? That posted up this one. It's the 25th already. Wow. <laughs> I thought it was way earlier than that. Never mind. <clears throat> uh, anyways, see if this thing works. Hopefully it does. Come on. There it is. There it says, this following IGN's posts on social media networks. An unaware Ryan McCaffrey, senior editor, IGN took to Twitter and apologized for the Xbox team. An unprofessional class. Unprofessional. Like classless. You know, they're really, really putting out the drama bait out here, ladies and gentlemen. It's really, really bad. <laughs> But it is what it is, so whatever. You know, when it comes to the video game industry, everyone wants to play the blame games, just like with movies and music and freaking, what, the sports industry, if that's even a thing. Because I really don't give a crap about sports, except for baseball and boxing and a little bit of UFC stuff. And that's it. Other than that, I don't really care about basketball and football that much because of personal reason. I'm not going to get into that shit. But anyways. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. These allergies are kicking my ass. All right, yeah, senior editor at IGN took to Twitter and apologized to the Xbox community. Yeah, I already read that part. Unprofessional and classless acts on the behalf of the IGN team. And it goes on to say, I would like to sincerely apologize to the Xbox team as well as the Xbox community on behalf of the IGN editorial team. IGN editor wrote that, quote, the Facebook and Instagram posts were unprofessional and classless from the horse's mouth themselves, and classless and made without my knowledge. The posts were deleted. These posts will be deleted ASAP. Good luck with that, buddy, because a lot of it probably got mirrored and screenshotted all over the damn internet. So there's no way you can ever walk away from this shit. You're pretty much screwed. Your whole entire career as a senior advisor, senior career editor, or like publicist, or journalist, or editorial person that you were working, whatever type of position, or like your professional like part of that industry was for IGN, it's pretty much tarnished. It's gone. <laughs> it's out. It's out the window, man. Good luck on finding another job, like either work for GameSpot or Kotaku or The Verge or, I don't know, even One Angry Gamer or VG27, like, and these other article places, websites that are out there. Best of luck to you, man, because you're probably shit out of luck with that, especially if you live out in California. That's where a lot of these places are from, a bullshit-ass liberal state, which I'm not going to get into politics, but it's a lot of those, like, micro dressers, LGBTQ and all that shit, and there's a shit ton of a mess over there. I'm not even going to get into that garbage. Anyways, let's move on. So it says, da, 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 da. although Xbox is, oh, that's weird. 
I don't know why I did it like that. It was a little bit up here before. Huh, that's weird. Hold on, give it a second. But seriously, though, what happened to that? That's freaky. It says something about the Facebook and Twitter blog posts. I don't know what it was. Oh, yeah. And if it's all over Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, we're not going to have any job career after this, buddy. Best of luck to that. Get to stepping, buddy. <laughs> Even though, Grant, I do got a really, really cool-ass guy that I'm subscribed to, Jake James Lugo. He works for the senior, like, um, not senior editor, but, like, he's, like, a half-time, part-time lobbyist dude or whatever for, like, IGN. And he writes a lot of, like, the little reactions here and there for that, so I can't shit on IGN completely for that. <clears throat> Hold on one second. I'm on. I know this thing's taking a little while, so bear with me, friends. Uh, and I had to get my drink down. This is the only thing that's keeping me sanely alive. It's Baja Fresh Water. I don't know. Yeah, there it is. On Facebook and Twitter, Instagram, where I'm professional in class about my knowledge, a post will be deleted ASAR. Microsoft's head of Xbox Relations. Ah, oh, come on, man. Are you serious? Ah, oh, man. I don't know what happened over there. <clears throat> Hold on a couple seconds, people. Stand by. Hold on. This thing is being a real big bitch right now. I got to put it down a little bit lower again. That's what it was. It says something about ASAP. There it is. Microsoft's head of Xbox marketing, Aaron Greenberg, later replied to McCaffrey's tweet saying that he appreciates an, a note and following up from the IGN editor. Thanks, Ryan, for appreciating the note for follow Greensburg. I don't know who the hell Greenberg is. I don't know if he's one of the... Oh, he's from the Microsoft's head of Xbox. <laughs> I know I'm not a real big fan of Xbox and all that, but I wouldn't be tarnishing and shitting all over its parade like that. That's when a God of War game just came out a couple days ago, which I know I'm going to be getting like a motherfucker eventually. That shit is like absolute nostalgic jam. I think it was like my sophomore, junior, way back in high school when that shit came out. I think it was 2004 or 5 or 06. It was a real, real big time at that time to be a gamer. Trust me on that. I'm talking to an old school expert that knows about that shit. Oh, yeah. Although, da -da -da -da, I already read Greenberg tweet it. Let's move on. Although... Xbox head Phil Spencer has promised the invest the upward invest investments in Microsoft's first party game and has expressed to be confident in the years to come. It's no secret that Microsoft's Xbox is low in first party exclusives compared to Sony's PS4. That's very, very true, unfortunately. There's not this this is a reason why I always say occasionally there's not that many games I really care for my Xbox old school Xbox 360 or Xbox One or One X. There's a very few handful of games. Actually, do care about. Like if any people remember Sunset Overdrive or the Forza series, even some of the UFC stuff. I'm a real, real big fan of that. But other than that, that's all I care about. <laughs> not very many other games, unfortunately. And of course, the Sea of Thieves that came out not too long, and that was pretty damn smooth too. I love that. I normally just watch Twitch live streamers that play that stuff. I don't really care about it myself that much. But I'm always gonna be a Sony and Nintendo fan. I saw Nintendo Sony for 2011. <laughs> It's quite unprofessional for a major gaming website such as IGN to fuel out the fire. What are your thoughts on this? What are your thoughts on this? Yeah, hit the comments down below. Overall thoughts, views, and opinions. This is going to bite them in the ass. Karma bit them so damn far if they ask them. You know, IGN's probably going to end up, like, recovering for this eventually. Some of them are sneaky-ass little grimy bastards, whatever the hell they want to post up. And they kiss a lot of freaking ass when it comes to the E3 stuff. And that's only less than two months away. So a lot of you people already know there's going to be a shit ton, a crap ton of like video gaming coverage all over that. Which I am subscribed to GameSpot. It's one of the lesser of the two evils, if um if you ask me. <clears throat> Other than that, yeah. As long as there's no harm or no foul play involved with any of the IGN stuff, I know it's going to be a shit ton of drama, clickbait stuff, videos that are probably out there. But it is what it is. This is my own two opinion. I want to put my two cents into this. I mean, hey. <laughs> Whoever posted that on Facebook and Instagram, you already know when something goes very, very viral on Facebook and Instagram, it's extremely negative and a lot of people backlash the hell out of it. People get triggered a fresh, professional in a mental state. They just get destroyed. People come out of pe yeah, people come out of other people's throats. They jump at their throats and they just attack them cybernetically and virtually. God forbid excuse me, forbid physically, because if that happens, you know, you gotta get 
you know, police officers involved in shit, and somebody could lose their life, and I'd be really, really freaking scared. And that's it. Um, other than that, hey, shout out to my boy Stone Fox Media, it's Christopher Stone Fox Media, that brought up this um, news topic to subscribers such as myself. The guy's a really, really cool ass, super funny ass black dude for sure. Really, really awesome guy. He's really, really professional when it comes to technology and all that stuff. So, big ups to him. He definitely deserves that subscription. I mean, I'm surprised he doesn't have a million subscribers. I'm granted, almost 160,000 is already a lot. So, <laughs> it's cool. I like the guy. He's cool. Thumbs up for him. Like, comment, subscribe to him. And even click his bell notification. Or to me. Definitely to me. Just saying. And that's it. Peace out once again. I'll link that article down below as well. Out once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fan girls, And, of course, as always, the tacos and Niki Komodis out there. I will see you when I see you. You guys have a good day. Have a good night. Wherever you are at around the world, we'll reach with the same time. Don't take them reckless. Keep it calm. Keep it cool. Keep it chill. Keep it relaxed out there. And until the next time, guys, peace out. Later, bye. Stay tuned. More videos coming soon. Brand new videos and channels every single day. Stay in the grind. Stay easy. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Be easy. Be do yourself. Peace out. I'm going to get I'm going to get in the ladder. Stay tuned more for your content. Stay more updates. Thank you more for your commentary, content, blogs, and channel. And of course, as always, stay tuned for my future article session reviews and chat and breeze video blogs that I do. Take it easy. I'm out like sauerkraut again. See you guys in the next future episode. Ladies and goodbye. Take it easy. See you on the flip side. And I am out. <laughs> IGM, man. Hopefully, you guys better recover before E3 2018 drops around the corner because <laughs> you guys are screwed. The same. Peace. I'm out.